Hey guys, on today's video, I want to talk about choosing a mouth call. Now, choosing a mouth call can be very overwhelming because when you go to the stores or you look online, there's so many and there's so many different varieties, you don't even know where to even begin. So I'm going to try to simplify this up for you, kind of uh, take you through the steps that I went through in order to finding the right ones for me. So one of the ways that I did it was I'd buy a three pack. I'd buy a three pack of calls, uh, try out each one of those calls in that pack. And then usually one out of those three, I could find that I use a little bit better than the others. And so then what I'd go from there is I do a little bit more, little bit of research on uh, that one particular call. Um, you know, look how many, what, what the cut is on it, how many reads is on it or pieces of latex. And then I would, and what was the thickness of the latex? And then I would try to find another call around those same parameters or those same specs. I'd buy that call, throw it in my mouth, and then see how well I could use it. And uh, one of the first calls that I picked up on was a three read or a two read bat wing. Uh, now it was a a two read call. You can't. Uh, I've found out pretty quick. You can get really good yelps. You can get some really good cutting out of it. But when you started to get louder, it just kind of lost its power. I mean, it started kind of muffling up real bad. I, I eventually did a little bit more research, found a three reed bat wing, started using that, and then I realized I could get louder and my cutting could get louder and it sounded better. Um, so what I did from there is I kind of pl played around with different cuts and I found out that a combo cut was one that I, re that I could use fairly well too. And then after a while, I started using a snake tongue or a, snake, a fang cut or a W cut, whatever you want to call them. Um, I, I found out I could use one of those fairly well. So, um, and to this day, I still use a, a W cut and I'll explain that here in a minute. But, uh, so when I started doing the competition calling, um, being around, you know, professional callers and stuff like that, <clears throat> I started gaining a little bit more knowledge about, uh, mouth calls and how they work, the mechanics of them. And then what I kind of did was there is I kind of built, built around that a little bit. Then I knew that a bat wing was kind of my call. Um, I, I placed in the Grand Nationals with it. I've won some calling competitions with it. Um, I need to get back into the calling competitions. I just haven't done it in years. Um, so yeah, it was uh, the bat wing. Well then, I started figuring out that I liked the W cut a little bit better just because uh, the clear note on the front, the, fir the front note, what didn't last as long. It wasn't that real high pitched sound and then the rasp. The rasp is the back end. So I'll show you the front note. The front note is like a key key. So, and then when you start building, when you, what I do is from there is I kind of drop my jaw, my tongue pressure just slightly. And then my cuts, I just say kick, 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 kick. And then when you get the two note cut, the kick, cut, I just say kick, 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 kick. If you notice on those yelps, that clear front note. And then when you use a W cut, those clear notes kind of, they kind of disappear faster and you get into that back note. It sounds like an older hen. And to me, Eastern turkeys they respond better to rasp. Um, now you go out west into those areas, it seems like the clearer note that you have, the, the, the more realistic it sounds to the hens in that area or to that particular species of turkey. So, but yeah, if you're picking a mouth call, definitely get a three pack, pick the one out of the three that you like, do a little research on it, uh, find a call with the same specs as that one, and then grab, buy that call and then build up to it and eventually try, you know, maybe, maybe if it's a two read, go up to a three read and then maybe play around with some different cuts. So 
Guys, I hope this video helps you. And if you're still turkey hunting, I'm jealous because this year I didn't kill one. So, you know, go figure. And the way gas prices are, I mean, we plan on going, we wanted to go to Nebraska, but when gas is on, that was over $4 a gallon. Uh, I don't believe that's gonna be happening. So if you found this video helpful, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have a, a different way that you figured it out. And uh, yeah, so don't forget that. Again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I can't talk today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, and good luck if you're still hunting.